welcome back to my channel today we are going to find the expression for the angle of recoil in cocked and scattering of x-rays with the free electrons at rest suppose this is our free electron this is the electron which is at rest so its momentum is initially zero uh, and if an x-ray photon of energy h nu and momentum p is incident on the electron and after interaction with the electron the photon is scattered along this direction this is the original direction so the uh, photon is scattered along this direction uh, with a new energy h nu dash and new momentum p dash uh, due to the conservation of energy and momentum electron will be scattered along this direction Angle of scattering is denoted by the letter theta and angle of recoil is denoted by the letter phi. Here we have to find an expression for the angle of recoil phi. So, in order to conserve momentum, we can say that initial momentum, initial momentum will be, initial momentum of the system will be equal to the final momentum of the whole system. So, initial momentum uh, means momentum of photons plus momentum of electrons. Be since the electrons are at initially at rest, we can say that electron momentum is zero initially. Before collision, electron momentum is zero. And after collision, uh, the momentum of the photon will be P dash and the electron will occur a momentum equal to momentum equivalent to the energy uh, lost by the photon. So, we can represent it by P E, momentum of electron just by PE. Since momentum is a vector quantity, we can uh, we can resolve it into components. So, uh, vertical momentum will be equal to vertical vertical momentum before scattering will be equal to vertical momentum after scattering, and horizontal momentum before scattering will be equal to horizontal momentum after scattering. So, we can resolve momentum components into vertical and horizontal components so p dash this is p dash cos theta the horizontal component of photon momentum after collision is p dash cos theta and its vertical component will be p dash sin theta similarly the horizontal com component of electron momentum will be p e cos phi and the vertical component of electron momentum will be p e sin phi also before collision the electrons we are assuming that the photons are moving in the horizontal direction with no angle so it will have only horizontal component so taking the horizontal component horizontal components horizontal components taking the horizontal components we will get uh, p it is the momentum before collision it is along the horizontal direction so p equal to p dash cos theta plus p e cos phi or we can write p momentum of photons as By using de Broglie wavelength equation, we know that uh, de Broglie equation is lambda equal to lambda equal to h by p. So p equal to h by lambda. So using that expression, h by lambda equal to h by lambda dash cos theta plus electron momentum p. We can write it simply as p e p e cos phi we can mark it as expression 1 and using the and for the vertical component for the vertical component for the vertical component so for the vertical component we can write uh, in the from the previous slide we can see that from the previous slide we can see that vertical component for uh, Photons before collision for elect uh, for photons and electrons before collision is zero. There is only vertical component after co collision. So for the 
vertical components we can write 0 0 equal to uh, p dash sin theta minus p e sin phi the negative sign is due to um, the negative sign is because the vertical component of recoil electron momentum is along the downward direction it, they, these are in the opposite directions so 0 equal to p dash sin theta minus p e sin phi simply rearranging we get p dash sin theta sorry p e sin phi equal to p dash sin theta uh, from equation 1 also we can write um, p e cos phi equal to p e cos phi equal to h by lambda minus h by lambda dash h by lambda dash cos theta so this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 just dividing equation 2 by equation 3 we get sin phi by cos phi that is tan phi tan phi equal to tan phi equal to p dash p dash is h by lambda dash sin theta divided by h by lambda minus h by lambda dash cos theta and it is equal to we can simply cancel h from both numerator and denominator so the remaining term is sin theta divided by lambda dash by lambda minus cos theta or sin theta divided by lambda dash p equal to h by lambda p dash equal to h by lambda dash so lambda equal to h by p and lambda dash equal to h by p dash so it is equal to sin theta tan phi equal to sin theta divided by p by p dash minus cos theta so this is the expression for the angle of recoil of electrons in Compton scattering in terms of angle of scattering and the initial and final momentum of initial and final momenta of photons so thank you for watching this video